Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. We have got a new build challenge today. That's what we're going to be working on. We're going to be taking on the every room doubles in size challenge. I think that's what it's called anyway. I mean, it pretty much sums it up. So that's what we're going to be trying to do today. But for some reason, I thought it would be fun to also randomly generate these rooms as we go through them. Because as soon as I decided to do this challenge, I immediately thought that I was going to start with the bathroom and I was going to do this and I had all these great plans to make it a little bit easier and I don't know if that's very fun to watch so I decided to spice it up a little bit and generate each room randomly so we're going to start with our one tile room that seemed to be what most people did and that seems kind of scary to me but that's what we're going to start with okay let's pick our first room our one tile room is going to be The living room! <laughs> okay, I don't really know how to make a one tile living room, but I guess we're gonna find out. So it seemed like most people would kind of like add a little bit of a, what do you call this? A spandrel? <laughs> they would add a little bit of a spandrel to the room and then add some columns to kind of open it up like that. And I mean, I guess actually we could probably put a bookcase in here and then add to the living room. like. The way that I figured that we would have to do this if we do it randomly generated is that we'll just have to keep the room on the wheel until we get it finished because I mean well, you can't have a one tile kitchen that actually does anything like it's not it's it's not going to be functional. So I don't know do we just add like a little fireplace or a bookcase and then just keep adding to the living room? I don't really know what to do. I mean, technically we could throw a TV in there and call it a day, but do we want to do that? I don't know. I don't know why too. I'm feeling like kind of going with darker colors for this house. I don't know why. That's just kind of where I'm at. But we could do this bookcase and we could grab a chair. Oh, we might have to go with like a poof. What about this one? We could grab like this little stool from Cats and Dogs. And then what about a lamp? We could do like a little lamp. Should we do some candles? Nope, they're not gonna snap. No candles. What, does nothing snap? Something has to snap. Okay, here we go. And then we could grab some books or something. Oh, they don't snap either. Well, I guess I could just lift them up. I really think they should snap though. Okay, so we have our little um, living room. I mean, not really, but you know, you know, actually technically it is a living room. I mean, technically your sim could sit there and read. There's no TV or anything like that. But I do like the little living nook kind of situation. Okay, our next room is going to be a two tile room. Let's see what we get for that one. And we're going to leave the living room on there in case we can add on to the little area we have now. But let's see what we get for the two tile room because that's still not a lot of space to work with. It's going to be the kitchen. <laughs> I feel like that's really bad luck, honestly, you guys. I'm gonna have to kind of do the same thing that I did over here. Oh no, that's gonna bug me. Why is it doing that? Go away. Okay, I'm fine as long as both of them are like that. I just don't want one of them to be like that. Oh, we could do a coffee bar. Let's see, what kind of cabinets do we want? I don't know what the vibe of this house is because it kind of feels like horse ranch and then it kind of doesn't. But we got a lot of horse ranch going on with the pillars. I think we're going to go with the horse ranch. And then I'm thinking for right here, we need one of those little menus. We need another light, I think, right there. We could do this growing together one. We do have to put something back here behind the coffee pot, though. We could do a calendar. Might would be a weird place to have a calendar. But at the same time, most people drink coffee when they wake up. And maybe you just want to, you know, have a look at your day while you're getting your coffee. I... I don't really know. I don't drink coffee and everybody that I know that drinks coffee doesn't really want to talk about their day until after they've drank coffee. So maybe that doesn't make sense, but we're going with it. I don't know if that looks weird. It kind of looks weird, doesn't it? No, I, you know what? It's fine. I like it. Okay. Where is the little mug thing? All right. I think it would look cute if we had some of the little coffee bags, but then maybe we need a coffee mug too. Okay, there we have a little coffee nook and we'll have to figure out some way to add it onto the kitchen. I mean, I don't know how to build a two tile kitchen, so this is the only way I know to do this challenge. I feel like this is such a chaotic way to build, it's kind of stressful. Okay, let's see what we get this time for the four tile room. Still pretty small, but it's getting a little bit more manageable. Please don't be the kitchen. 
Laundry room! Okay, we can do that. We can do laundry room. And you know what? We can actually take laundry room off now as well. Because I, I feel pretty confident that we can do a four tile laundry room. Okay, let's see. Laundry. So we can definitely use one of these wall decorations that came with the laundry day pack. Oh, we have some purple clothes we could put up here too. We do need wallpaper. Should we go with a tile maybe since this is the laundry room? But we want purple still. Oh, no, I don't have any purple tile. Okay, we'll just go with the same one we've been using. That's fine. No big deal. And we need something on the wall. What is a good laundry room picture? Maybe we have some clothes or something we could put up there. Oh, you know what? We actually had wall decorations that came with laundry day. Why am I doing this? Where are they at? Which one do I like better? This one or this one? I think this one. And then over here on this wall, we could do one of the brooms that came with the pack. We could probably do a little rug in here too, just to finish it all off. Okay, there we go. We have a laundry room. But next up we have this room. Is that right? Eight tiles. Gosh, it's getting weird now. Okay, I think that's right. That's our next room though. And it's going to be... Did I take the laundry room off? Yeah, okay. The eight tile room is going to be... The living room. I don't know if we can finish the living room up with that or not, but we're gonna try. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe if we do it like this and we could put the TV right here. I feel like I could just keep going with horse ranch. It's so easy to just go with horse ranch. I mean, look at this, this is nice. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm going with it. Let's grab a TV. I don't know if I like it. We could do this flower. I love this flower. I think I use it in almost every single one of my builds, but it looks so nice. We could do these little pumpkins because it's September now. Probably would make more sense to do board games though. I don't care, I'm keeping the pumpkins. Oh, you know what? I'm just now kind of realizing that we don't have an entrance way to this house. I don't think it's gonna be going into the living room because look at it, it's just too small. <laughs> I feel like all of this is just gonna have to connect somehow to the biggest rooms. And we're just gonna have to make it work like that. We need like a little couch. Oh, look at this one. That's so cute. That that fits the vibe of the house for sure. Except for the green pillows. That doesn't really fit. You know what? I always like this one. Oh, could we do a mirror? Um, I don't know. You know what? Maybe we should do the mirror over here behind the couch. I feel like this room is so small, I can't see inside of it. It's driving me crazy. But you know what? I think that's fine. I think it looks good. We need a little bit of a rug, I think. There we go. I think our living room is done. I think I think that's good. I think we can take it off the wheel because we have a TV and we have a seating area. We also have a bookcase. I couldn't remember what we, what we did at first. Okay, we're taking living room off. So I don't remember. I guess our next room is going to be 16 tiles, which is getting pretty big at this point. So let's see what we get for 16 tiles. The kitchen! I actually think that's pretty good. I, I'm good with that. I can go with the kitchen. Okay, wait, is that 16? Now that doesn't actually look that big. Or eight. Yeah, it is. It's 16. So it's good. You know what? You guys, I haven't placed windows again. At least with this challenge, I can go back and fix that. We'll go back in the very end and we're going to fix the windows. I can't even think about the windows right now. It's too much. Can we place this right here? We can place the kitchen. No, 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 no. This is harder than it's supposed to be. Maybe that's the real challenge is trying to figure out how to connect all of this to stuff together. I kind of want to make this bump out better. This little weird one tile thing no windows i cannot believe i can't i can't believe i can't even talk about the windows right now i'm telling you guys gosh this is so hard you know what i'm not even gonna think about it i'm not i'm just gonna stick with the kitchen i'm just gonna keep these two together and then i'll figure out how to put everything together in the end i'm pretty sure that we can complete a kitchen though with 16 tiles i i feel good about that i feel like we could do that and we also we want the front door to go here right so Let's pick out a front door. Okay, so we have our little coffee spot here. And then we need an entryway. And then we just need a functional kitchen. So I guess we do entryway first, right? 
it's almost impossible for me to focus on building this kitchen without knowing how everything is going to connect up together because it's stressing me out. Like, where do I put anything? I don't know. It's so weird to build like this. How do you guys do this? Look, now we have this weird little thing right here. Maybe we just move this over. Yeah, and we might, we could put like a garbage can right there. I think that could work. We're connecting up so far, right? We're doing good. Okay, let's find a garbage can. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so there we have that little area. I don't, I don't know how we're going to handle this spot <laughs> right here. I don't, I don't know what we're going to do with that, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. It's fine. Okay, we could do that. That's not, that's not bad. That's a functional little kitchen space. We just got to get a sink in here somewhere. We'll just get one of uh, these sinks so that we don't have to worry about that. Maybe we could put a microwave in here to take up some space. Yeah, that's good. Does this sim have a dog? We could put some dog treats up above the uh, refrigerator thing. Are these actually functional in the game? I don't think they're going to be functional up on top of the fridge, but look, that's cute. And then I guess I'm just going to keep this counter empty because I, I don't want to put anything on it and it not be functional. I also just don't want to decorate it, but mostly it's about functionality. I guess we do need something to go here, which we could do another one of these. And I don't think that messes with functionality, so that's pretty good. Okay, then we have the little entrance way. We need a coat rack. We need a rug. Oh, we could use a shoe rack too. Okay, that's pretty good, but what about this wall? What do we do here? We could do the aprons. I think they kind of look weird over there. Should we kind of move the mirror over here? We could get a bigger mirror if we do that. We could change this one to like this one. All right, the kitchen is done. I think it's looking pretty good. So that room was 16, right? We double it. Now it's getting pretty bad. We've got three rooms left. I guess we can go on and lay them out, right? How did I get here when I started at one tile? How did I do this? Look at that, you guys. Look at that monstrosity of a room. You guys, look at that. That is as big as a normal house. This is ridiculous. Should we get rid of the dining room and just let these sims eat on their bed? Should we do that? We still have the bathroom as an option as well. Can you imagine a bathroom being this size or this size? I mean, I don't know. I, I think we should get rid of the dining room. Okay, yeah. Let's get rid of the dining room. Is that cheating? Is that bad? You don't have to have a dining room. So we're getting rid of the dining room, which means we have two rooms left. We have the bedroom and the bathroom. So let's spin and see what our smaller room is going to be. Hopefully the bathroom. Oh, it's the bedroom. This is crazy. Okay, so then that makes this the bedroom and this is the bathroom. <laughs> so funny though, because the reason that I kind of randomized the rooms was so that so that I wouldn't kind of feel like taking the easy way out and making a really small bathroom. So now this is the bathroom that we get. Before we even start building the bedroom and the bathroom, I'm going to reshuffle everything until it resembles a house. Okay, so this is our entrance right here by the kitchen. I guess we could put the laundry room right here. Oh, could we keep the living room the way it was? Okay, all right. I mean, it's ridiculous. But I think we can make that work. I think we can go with that. As usual for my build challenges, we have no windows as well. Oh my goodness, none of this is connecting up. None of this looks good. How do other people do this and make it look so easy? This is not easy. We gotta change the living room around or something. Can, can they sit like that and still watch TV? Okay, if we do it like this, then your Sims... <laughs> It's going to be kind of like a maze. So your sims can come into the kitchen and then they'll have to come around to the living room. And we're going to have to delete that or move it. And we'll put a, another door here. Okay, anyway, I got distracted. I got distracted. But you go, so you'll go through the kitchen to the living room to the bedroom. And then we'll have to have a door to the bathroom. And then you can go to the laundry room. I don't even know what we're going to put in here. Maybe we need some platforms. I don't feel like I'm very good with the platform tool. See, it always deletes my walls and it just makes me mad. We need a purple bed, hopefully. Oh, we could do this city living bed. It's kind of big. It kind of looks like, uh, you know, like it would need a big room. 
Maybe not this big. We could do a couch kind of right there. I mean, we're getting there. Okay, we're getting there. Uh, we need windows. Don't forget about the windows. I want a window right here. You know what? We could do those shutters that came with the horse ranch pack. We could just like pretend that there was a window here and it's closed. Can you see that on the inside? No, you can't. Okay, that's perfect. That's perfect then. See, this window is just, it's shuttered. And what is this? The laundry room? So pretty much the same situation over here. We just um, have already closed the windows up. Okay, we do need some open windows though, don't we? Maybe we could do it like that. Maybe we could put a porch right here. We could do another door over here because the bedroom has plenty of space. Oh, and you know what? We could do we could do that and that'll help with the roofing situation. Okay, that's good. So we got a few windows going. I can't even look at the bathroom. I can't even look over there. Oh, I don't know what to do for the windows. <laughs> Why are windows so difficult every single time I do one of these challenges? See, I don't mind these from City Living, except that they don't have anything that covers the top of it. So I just feel like it looks weird. All right, you know what? We're going with seasons, whether it looks good or not. That's what we're going with. Okay, you know what? We might have to change the bed. Does that look good? And we could grab some shelves. Okay, I think that's pretty good. And I think we can put a plant in the corner too. I think we have enough space or we could do a mirror there. So then we need something to kind of go over here. I think we're going to have to go with a poof though, because I don't want it to stop your Sims from being able to walk through there. Not that any Sim would actually want to live in this house <laughs> because it's so weird. Maybe a Sim who really likes bathrooms. You know, it doesn't actually look bad. I think it actually looks okay. Oh, hold on. We have an empty wall. You know, I don't know if I'm going to worry about it. Oh, I didn't put a dresser. I didn't put a dresser in this build. What do these go to? Where do I hang these? Hang on clothes hanging furniture. Should we do this one? You know what? The dresser may have to go in the bathroom. There we go. The bedroom is done. I don't even know how to build a bathroom this big. I really don't. I don't have anything too big. I mean, I have the hot tub, but I don't... I think it'll poke through the roof. Maybe it doesn't matter. Can you bathe in the hot tub? These swatches are interesting. Let's find some flooring, I guess. The hot tub is the biggest option that we have. I mean, I don't know what else to do. I don't want to put like one of these in here. <gasps> But we could. I wonder if it would still be functional. Okay, there we go. We're gonna we're gonna go with this because it it looks rustic. And I mean I think it looks better than the hot tub. So we're not gonna go with the hot tub. We're gonna go with the massive toilet instead. What could we put over? Oh, we could put the dresser. I forgot. We had decided we were gonna do a dresser, right? There's our little clothes. We could do another laundry basket out here, I think. I think I'm just gonna grab these kitchen cabinets and just put the sink over here. Or am I? I don't know. Guys, this bathroom is ridiculous. You know what? We gotta we gotta shuffle. We could put a sink right there. And then we could do another one. Should we do another one? We could, but should we? How about that? We probably could use some towels. Maybe another laundry basket. This house may have a record for the most laundry baskets I've ever used in the same build. And now I can't even find it. There it is. Okay, that's looking good. We got our toilets. We've got a trash can. We've got a dresser because we couldn't fit it into the bedroom, which is kind of ridiculous because the bedroom's massive. Then we have our sink area, which means that we just need a little bathtub area. That's all we need. We do another platform. I think we should. And then we move our tub over like this. Maybe another laundry basket. We'll just keep placing laundry baskets. All right, we're done. We're I'm calling it. I'm not even going to put another rug there. I'm calling it done. All right, there we go. I worked on the outside of the house. I, I was so tired that I worked on it off camera. I hope you guys don't mind. I feel like the challenge is kind of over because we're done with the rooms. So I think I'm going to landscape it and decorate it a little bit more off camera. I'll show you guys what it looks like at the end screen. But that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down below in the comments because I always love hearing from you guys. And I will talk to you guys soon with another build challenge and another video. But that's all for today. So bye guys.